Well, I think sometimes we get very close to our research and, and it becomes very personal to us. And, and by engaging with, the, with, with patient groups and, and individuals who suffer with, with various conditions, you've actually tried to understand more about their condition. And it's actually allowing you to, to ask proper questions which are actually relevant to their needs rather than maybe your just general interest. Their involvement helps on, on, on two levels. It helps us to make sure that the, the questions we ask are relevant to the, that particular disease condition or, or setting. And the second thing that it does is it helps us to convey simple messages. What is our research about? Is it relevant? Can we decide on what is the best scientific approach that we can undertake to answer that question? I think from that point of view, we can really learn a lot from the general public. been involving people in research for a long time but more recently probably in the last three or four years it's becoming far more of a priority making the person who is the reason why you're doing the research central to that research is critical to the success of the research and making sure that that research then will have impact further along down the line. that uh, members of the public should be involved in all of our research programmes. Unless we are answering patient priorities for research questions, and unless we are putting it in the patient context, we are unlikely to be doing the correct um, research for who really matters, and that's the patients. One of the clinical trials that I was working on, one drug was delivered by IV, and the other drug was delivered by tablet, so patients could take that tablet at home. And the general assumption was that patients would probably prefer to take the tablet at home, and it's not an unsurprising assumption. But in fact, when we actually asked patients what they wanted was the safety and security of the clinic environment. And so research partners are able to pick up those things and challenge the assumptions that we research teams might make. activities underpinned by the belief that involving the public in research is a good thing to do because it helps drive and improve the quality and relevance of health and social care research. Health and social care research can be improved by involving members of the public because they can help decide what outcomes truly matter to them rather than outcomes being decided by the researchers. And we believe that the public should be central to all research processes, research organisations and research institutions. This is so that members of the public can be central to all health and social care research activity and have truly have a say in the way that health and social care activity takes place. This is in order to place the citizen at the heart of creating new knowledge and putting new knowledge into practice. It is our vision to create a culture whereby all health and social care research that takes place in Wales happens with the public for the public. very active members of Brain Involved has openly said that the involvement that she's had with our research has changed her life. Knowing that she can make such an input, even though it might be in her view very small, is very valuable to her. I sometimes don't think we realise how important it is to those people to really listen to them and to ask their opinions. As a basic scientist, you know, it's, it's, I don't see patients on a daily basis. And so for me, having that ability to interface with the public and, and, and communicate what I'm trying to achieve is important to me. I currently hold a, an Arthritis Research UK grant, which you know, funds the research within my lab. But as part of the review process of that, I had to engage with a committee that is relevant to the charity's ambitions. And so having that opportunity to discuss and present my work to a, a general public lay person in, in particular really helped me you know, get that experience of knowing how to engage and communicate at the right level. So I think it's essential. Really. Health 
Health and Care Research Wales offers a training programme which includes access to training on public involvement in research. That's available for researchers as well as members of the public who wish to be involved in research. We also offer the Public Involvement and Engagement Team, which is my team, and we offer advice and support for researchers and for members of the public on best practice in public involvement in research. We've got heaps of resources on the website that you can have a look at, and there's also lots of resources available generally online, and it would certainly be worth looking at the Involve website for the resources they have there. Thank you.